First up, we're checking out the bold moves at MGM Resorts where the stakes are high in Yonkers with plans to transform the Empire City. Then, we'll zip over to Vegas where Red Rock Resorts is unveiling the luxurious Durango Resort and Casino, a new local's favorite. We're unveiling a high stakes tale in Oklahoma where tribal leaders and NBA team acquisitions are stirring up a storm in the sports betting world. And for our now showing spotlight, hold on to your seats as we unveil a Naxi's revolutionary mobile on-premise solution. Buckle up, Hit that subscribe button, and let's roll the dice on today's gaming saga. Kicking off today's gaming gossip, we've got a major shuffle on the casino floor. But this time, it's not about the cards. It's the captains at MGM Resorts. That's right, folks. MGM is spinning the wheel of leadership, and we're here to break down the action. First up, Aisha Milano steps up to the high rollers table as the new president and COO of Aria and Vidara on the strip. She's not just dealing cards, she's handling government affairs and public relations, too. Talk about wearing multiple hacks. Molino is stepping into the shoes left behind by Anton Nicodomus. After an 18-year game, he's cashing in his chips, leaving behind a legacy of quality and excellence. Hats off to you, Anton. And in a twist, Sean Lady is doubling down, taking over the Cosmopolitan along with his international marketing role. From finance to fancy, Lanny's got it covered. But wait, there's more. Chuck Bowling, the Mandalay Bay and Luxure Chief, is retiring to a life less hectic. Well deserved, Chuck, but he's not leaving the table completely sticking in as a consultant. Filling those big shoes is Travis Lund, moving from the Borgata to bring his magic touch to Mandalay Bay and Luxor. Talk about a jackpot hire. Meanwhile, Nick Riderstorm is taking the reins at Borgata. With a resume that reads like a tour of Vegas, he's ready to bring his A-game. And in the government affairs corner, Rick Lamardo steps up to the game from Capitol Hill to Casino Floor. He's got his strategy set. With these power plays, MGM's not just changing faces, they're reshaping the game. So let's keep an eye on these movers and shakers. From Vegas to Windy City, the world of gaming has more twists than a corkscrew roller coaster. Speaking of surprises, let's dive into a story from Chicago that's raising some eyebrows and questions alike. Rolling the dice in Chicago is where Bally's quest for a casino license is playing out on a whole different board, the Federal and Local Investigation Board. It seems the U.S. Attorney's Office and Chicago Inspector General are shuffling the deck. They're digging into some complaints from Bally rivals in casino licensing game. Talk about high-stakes investigation. Alderman Brian Hopkins never won to mince words has been vocal about the previous administration's handling of casino bid. And now, with the federal magnifying glass hovering over, things are starting to heat up. But the plot thickens with rumors of investigations swirling. But Bally's the city officials, they're playing their cards close to best, claiming they're in the dark as we are. Despite the drama, the city's council is doubling down big on Bally's. With a landslide 39 to 5 vote, this $1.7 billion jackpot is meant to boost Chicago's coffers, especially the public employee pension funds. But the road to Chicago's first casino wasn't paved with gold. Some aldermen are crying foul over transparency and doubts linger about Bally's ability to bring this project to life. From the bustling streets of Chicago, we're heading to the heartland of America. Oklahoma is in the spotlight now. And trust me, this isn't your typical tale of casinos and slots. It's a story where sports sovereignty and the future of gaming collide. Fasten your seatbelts, gaming enthusiasts, because we're diving into a plot that's more tangled than a cowboy's lasso in Oklahoma. Tribal leaders are raising the stakes, urging Governor Kevin Stitt to back tribal-led sports betting amidst economic uncertainties. The twist? Miriam Edelson, the power player behind Las Vegas Sands, is buying a majority interest in the Dallas Mavericks. This $3.5 billion move has everyone talking, and Oklahoma tribal leaders are watching closely. The heart of the matter? Texas. With LVS lobbying hard for gambling there and the Mavericks owner Mark Cuban eyeing a casino in his entertainment district, the cards are now being reshuffled. Back in Oklahoma, Stitt's sports betting plan is causing ripples. With legality and feasibility questions floating around like tumbleweeds, the tribes, they're not just spectators, they're major players holding the economic ace card in the state. Matthew Morgan from the Oklahoma Indian Gaming Association highlights the tribe's triumphs, surpassing revenue expectations, and significantly contributing to the state's economy. But with regional competition heating up, it's a race between time and neighboring states. It's a high-stakes game where sports betting, tribal sovereignty, and economic diversification are all in play. The goal? To stay ahead of the curve, especially with Texas potentially entering the gaming arena. So as Oklahoma navigates these choppy waters, one thing's clear in the world of gaming. It's not just about the cards you're dealt, but how you play them. And speaking of playing cards right, let's shift gears from the gaming tables to the shining stars of the casino floor. It's time for our now showing segment, where we spotlight the latest and greatest in gaming excitement. 
Get ready because we're about to reveal a game changer in the world of mobile gaming. Brought to you by Anaxi, the trailblazers in online real money gaming. Imagine this, the thrill of the casino right in the palm of your hand. That's right, folks. Anaxi's latest marvel, mobile on-premise solution, is turning heads and tapping screens in the Chickasaw Nation. Thanks to the groundbreaking partnership with Windstar World Casino and Resort, with Anaxi's cutting-edge technology, you can now connect to iconic Aristocrat Class 2 gaming content directly on your mobile device. We're talking about your fan favorites like Mr. Moneybags, Polar High Roller, and Hot Red Ruby. This isn't just changing the game, it's a digital revolution. And the brains behind this brilliance? Josh Morris from Anaxi, who believes in pushing the industry forward with such groundbreaking partnerships, their commitment to enhancing the gaming experience is not just impressive, it's transformative. Dan Boren from the Chickasaw Nation is also on board, embracing the mobile gaming trend. And why not? With this innovative solution, Windstar guests are getting a taste of the future today. This isn't just about fun and games, it's about embracing modern technology and delivering an ever-evolving entertainment experience. Anaxi and Windstar are planning to roll out the new content over time, keeping the excitement fresh and the winds coming. So next time you're at Windstar dreaming of hitting the jackpot, remember with Anaxi's mobile on-premise, the casino is as close to you as your smartphone. It's a new era in gaming, and Anaxi is leading the change. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to take a virtual trip to the Southwest Las Vegas Valley, where the latest glittering gem in the casino world just made its grand entrance. I'm talking about the much-anticipated Durango Casino and Resort. Red Rocks Resort 780 million answer to luxury local gaming. Opening its doors this Tuesday morning, Durango is not just a casino, it's a statement. A testament to Red Rock's aggressive expansion strategy. With its prime location along the I-25 Beltway, it's poised to become the new hotspot for locals and regional guests alike. Imagine stepping into a world of affordable luxury where 200 rooms rival the best in the business. Room rates? They're playing the big leagues, with tags between $399 and $599 a night. But that's not all. Durango is set to be more than just a gaming haven. It's a neighborhood nucleus where you can chill, dine, and catch a game. The culinary scene is a smorgasbord of delights. From New York's Prince Street Pizza to LA's Ivory's Burgers. Not forgetting the Hawaiian Cafe and the Oyster Bar. And for that sushi fix, you or me sushi and Sang Artesian Noodle have got you covered. But Durango's more than just food and games. It's about a vibe. From Nico's Prime Cuts and Fresh Fish to the George Sportsman Lounge. This place is all about creating moments and making memories. So if you're in Vegas and looking for something off the strip, Durango Casino Resort is where it's at. Red Rock's not just raising the bar, they're setting it on fire. Fasten your seatbelts, New York. We're taking a ride to Yonkers, where MGM is rolling out the red carpet with his ambitious plans for the Empire City. Think big, think bold, and think a whole new world of entertainment. Get this. MGM's vision is to transform Empire City Casino into a dazzling destination that screams world class. We're talking about a casino expansion that's nothing short of spectacular. A mammoth, 5,000 capacity entertainment venue, and hold your bets, a swanky bet MGM sportsbook. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. Imagine dining in style with food and beverage outlets led by star-studded chefs, sipping cocktails in chic lounges, and experiencing meetings and spaces teeming with cutting-edge tech. Bill Hornbuckle, MGM Resort's president and CEO, isn't just dreamy, he's making a statement. A full-scale casino and entertainment hub here means an adrenaline rush of experiences, jobs galore, and a turbo boost of New York's economy. Game changer? You bet. Currently, Empire City is running on a Class 2 license. That means no live table games yet, but with a commercial casino license, things could rev up at a whole new level. We're talking about sports betting lounges, more gaming options, and amenities that'll knock your socks off. Yonkers Mayor Mike Spano is all in, foreseeing a future where MGM Empire City isn't just an attraction, but a thriving economic powerhouse, creating thousands of union jobs and shaping the city's prosperity for generations to come. Empire City's general manager Ed Domingo echoes his sentiment. With MGM Resort's global entertainment powerhouse and deep roots in New York, they're ready to turn the page on the Empire State's entertainment saga. And with that final dazzling story from Empire City, we're bringing down the curtain on another thrilling episode of the CDC Gaming Show. Before I sign off, a quick reminder, if you enjoyed today's show, do us a solid and hit that like button. Your support means the world to us and helps us continue bringing you stories that make the gaming world spin. 
And if you haven't already smashed that subscribe button and ring the bell so you won't miss out on any future adventures. I'm Casey Gonzalez, and it's been an absolute pleasure to be your guide on this journey. Remember, in the world of gaming, the next big story is just a roll of dice away. So until next time, keep your bets high, your spirits higher, and your passion for gaming burning bright. See you next time.